Hey everyone! So I have a haul today. I'm very excited with some of the stuff that I've purchased recently. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I haven't done a video like a haul video for quite a while. So let's get right into it. Um, so the first thing that I wanted to let you guys know that I finally got the Wet n Wild palettes, the eight color ones. Um, Petal pusher looks like this. Comfort Zone, and Blue Had Me at Hello. Um, these are awesome. I'm so excited. I finally found them. They finally came to Canada at my Walmart. I was really excited. $4.97 each at Walmart. Uh, the colors are just totally pigmented, smooth, amazing. I love them. I have nothing bad to say about them. So those are awesome. I'll have to do uh, some tutorials on those. Next thing I finally got my hands on was the NYX Cream Blush in Hot Pink. Super amazingly hot pink color. Really smooth. Looks like that. And this is just swatched without blending it out. So it's really, really hot pink. And then just blending it out gives you just a nice, nice pinky cheek so I can't wait to use that. It's just fabulous. I got the last one in the store. Mm, another pink product that I just bought is the NYC um, lip stain and this one is in the color persistent pink and just kind of looks like that. It looks like a felt marker actually and I don't think you guys will be able to see it. It's very very light on my hand. On the lips it's a little bit more pigmented but that is what it looks like. And uh, I wore this some um, yesterday, and it's definitely stayed on my lips. I don't really like the smell of it. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's a weird smell. But anyways, I put uh, put this on my lips first, and then I applied a nice shimmery gloss, and it looked really pretty. Uh, next thing I got from Sephora, it was only $3. That's why I could not not buy it. Um, it's the Sephora Mineral Loose Powder Foundation. Now, I will have to say that I had a hard time finding a color that would match my skin. This one is in medium peach, and like I normally have lots of like kind of pinky undertones on my skin. I would never ever think that I would have a loose powder with the color peach on it or the name peach on it, but this one was the closest to my skin. And um, I actually have it on today, so it, uh, yeah, it's, it was pretty nice. And I find like it wears really well, so three bucks can't go wrong. I mean, awesome. Uh, another thing I got from Sephora is this really gorgeous nail polish. Now, I wear lots, like I don't have nail polish on right now, my nails look like crap. Um, but anyways, I usually wear a lot of bright pinks and like just corally colors and whatnot, but I thought that this color was really awesome. It's called Roomba, or Rumba, I guess it's the dance, Rumba Romance. It's a really nice like coppery, bronzy, goldy, I don't even know how to explain this color, but it just is awesome. This was actually on sale too, this was $3. I'll put it on my nail since they don't have anything on them so you guys can see what the color looks like. It has like a glitter finish so it's not matte. I guess that's the color. Hopefully you can see it. But I thought this would be really nice for like, especially like fall and winter. I don't know, I like lots of kind of warm golds and, and stuff. So anyways, $3. Awesome, Sephora, thank you. Uh, a couple other things I picked up at Sephora are the um, jumbo aligners. They're the waterproof 12-hour ones. They look like this. Very similar to the NYX jumbo eye pencils, but um, these I like better. They were $12. Um, beige and taupe were the two colors I got. I also have gold, but I've had that one for a little while, so I'm not going to mention that one. And um, I'm also going to pick up uh, purple and khaki. They're just wicked. I love the colors. So you guys can see those. So this one is taupe and this one is beige. And these puppies stay put. They are awesome. Uh, next thing I got, oh, as I rub the nail polish all over the place, um, I picked up the Lorac 3D Liquid Luster Drops. And I have to say these are fabulous. There's, um, you know, quite a few reviews on these, but they have, like, the little, um, I don't even know what you call it, picker up or dropper thingy, and they are, like, so amazing. 
they really do not crease they stay put they're just awesome and so just put the tiniest little drop there and they just have like a really beautiful silvery goldy sparkle to them they're just beautiful such a good purchase I would definitely recommend it so worth the money and I'm pretty sure it'll last for a really long time uh, another thing I picked up from Sephora is the Kat Von D Tattoo Chronicles palette and this one is volume one just like a beautiful book I mean it's kind of like I don't really know I just have it on my makeup desk right now but anyways it's just really really creative this is what the palette looks like it's some really nice colors. So it basically comes with a set of um, eyelashes. Then you have three eye primers and 12 different eyeshadows. And these eyeshadows are really, really pigmented. Um, the colors, I think, are just gorgeous. I really, really have enjoyed it. I've, um, I haven't i have used, I've used all of it but the bottom row. I haven't done like a really dramatic eye with that yet. But I've used the first um, eight shadows and I've been really, really impressed with it. So love this. Another purchase was on sale. I think it was like 20 bucks. Got it on sale. Love it. Uh, another thing. So excited I got. Sorry if I blind you guys, but I got the Urban Decay 15th Anniversary Eyeshadow Palette. So, so excited about this. Um, I have not used it yet. I just picked it up. And, um, you know, there's tons of reviews. Beautiful packaging. And, like, just amazing colors. So I'm definitely going to um, do a tutorial with this. Also, I just, I don't know, I talked myself into it. I'm like, do I really need it? Yes, I do. So anyways, I picked that up. Definitely worth the money. Um, I've swatched the eyeshadows on my hand, and they're very pigmented, as are all of the Urban Decay shadows. Really excited about that. And then um, I found, let me get this back in. There we go. Um, I also picked up... This is the last of my little bit of a haul. Um, I picked up some pigments. Now, I've never used LA Colors before. Um, I've heard a lot of things about them on YouTube and um, and whatnot, but I actually found these in like this tiny little drugstore at, um, at my lake. So bizarre, I've never noticed them before. But anyways, they were all on sale, 25% off. They were only $3 each and then plus the 25% off. So I got five of them. Um, so they're the LA Colors Shimmering Loose Eyeshadows, like this. They have a brush in there, which is cute, I guess, but I will never use it. It's kind of all, like, ratty and just smushy and not good. So I wouldn't use that, but at least it keeps it all together. But the five colors that I got are uh, Chocolate Sprinkles, Radiant. So Chocolate Sprinkles, Radiant. Radiant's my favorite so far. I've used that one already. Um, honeysuckle. And I got a couple pinky colored ones. I got Melon Sorbet and Fairy Dust. So I'll just like, I'll swatch Radiant because that one's like the most beautiful color ever. I love it. It's really, really beautiful. So that's Radiant right there. Really pigmented. There's no glitter chunks in them which is really nice because they're just super, super smooth. Um, let's see. I'll also do chocolate sprinkles. Let's do that one. Chocolate sprinkles kind of looks like satin taupe, actually. That's chocolate sprinkles. Yeah, so anyways, I was pretty excited about those. And that is it. Oh, one more thing. I always do that. Um, I just picked up these Makeup Remover Cleansing Cloths. Um, I used to use the MAC ones, and they're just a little bit too expensive for me. I know that the Costco, I think it's the Kirkland brand, those are really good. Um, but I like these ones too. They're the Equate. I just picked these at Walmart. I think they're $6 or $5. You get 25 of them. And they are makeup removing cloths. And they are super, like, they're really, like, um, they have a lot of 
makeup remover in them. Like some of the cloths that I've used in the past are just so dry and you like go to take your makeup off and you're like, is there any moisture in here? These are really, really full of moisture and they definitely take off um, like waterproof um, mascara, waterproof eyeliner. So yeah, you wouldn't think like a no name kind of equate brand would have fabulous cloths, but they are fantastic. So that is it. So that is my haul. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you soon. Bye.